So Jameis Winston re-signing with the New Orleans Saints. We don't know the exact details, but it seems to be about uh, 28 million for two years. So 14 million a year, 21 million guaranteed. So you're getting pretty st at least decent quarterback play without having to spend too much so that's not the worst thing in the world let's get into what i like about winston and what he can still bring to the new orleans saints let's start off with a play like this this is a, a good example of kind of what winston just brings to a team that other guys just don't bring to a team like it's just that simple it's going to be zone coverage it's a deep route this is what we know about Winston, right? He has a cannon of an arm, and on this play, he's going to show it off a bit. There's no denying that. Look at how right when this play begins, you do see that right here, it almost looks like Green Bay's kind of thinking a little bit like, okay, if you really try to throw it this far deep, you can maybe hit it, but will you get it there in a hurry? I don't know. Uh, there'll probably be a little bit more air under it. We have time to come back. However, instead, Winston does. I mean, look at this ball. Like This is just a beautifully thrown football, and you get a touchdown out of it and a big chunk touchdown. So that's just kind of the value of a Jameis Winston is he can do that, whereas other guys can't do that. Trevor Simeon can't do that for you, right? That's why you get Jameis Winston instead. So everyone knows that Winston has this value, but it still is worth pointing out. Uh, that yeah, Winston has this capability. Like something like this is basically a very similar thing. It's kind of the exact same idea. It's gonna be zone coverage. This time just a cover three instead of a, it's a cover three zone blitz uh, instead of the, the quarters coverage that the last play was. But again, watch what happens. Winston takes the snap right here and you're gonna see that as of right now, again, there is a way you can make this throw. Would probably mention like neither one of these are great defensive plays. Like you probably should be, you know, covering guy deep down the field. Uh, that's probably something that maybe you should make an effort to do for sure, especially when you know you're going up against a guy who has a cannon of an arm. But still, what do you do when your opponent makes mistakes? Well, you make them pay for it, and that's what Winston is going to do. As you see, he does make just a perfect throw, and again, they're able to get a big chunk touchdown right there. So there's just there's only there's not a, there's not 32 guys in the league that can make that these types of throws now there's a decent amount but there isn't 32 and that's just kind of that's the first thing you check off is okay he can do that cool that's something that he brings to the table although i also want to talk about something like this a little bit where what's happening here is that this is again it's going to be a go route it's against his own coverage i do feel like it's it's worth mentioning with winston while he definitely has a big arm and will make some very beautiful throws i think sometimes his accuracy is a bit overblown like he will whiff on some throws and he will miss some throws especially deep down the field accuracy is not always his biggest strong suit he'll miss some throws listen it's okay missing throws isn't the end of the world matthew stafford misses some throws right everyone misses some throws but uh the fact that he will miss the occasional throw is something you see on tape look at how right when this play begins you see that a maybe not sure if winston should be making this throw anyways kind of this go route where there isn't exactly uh a lot of separation the, the defender is currently you know about four or five yards past the receiver he's going to try and hit but you know winston has to has the mentality of i'm going to take some chances and i believe my trust in my abilities and listen uh sometimes it does work out however this time as you see when he makes this throw uh just a bit too far not really much uh that could have happened there maybe you want to argue the receiver should have followed there but i don't know what you could have really done there uh, a little bit far and maybe not the best decision as a whole. You will see that on tape with Winston. You will. Uh, and these are the kind of things that you know, they happen. It's okay. It's not the end of the world, but it is something that's, that's fair. I also think about something like this, where I think Winston is very good at pushing the ball down the field consistently if guys are getting open. This plays an example. It's man coverage, and so it's a cover one man blitz. You can see how this route could work past the first down marker and watch what happens. As you see, Winston is going to, you know, run this play action. And as of right now, you know, everyone kind of views the no risk it, no biscuit Jameis Winston idea of kind of like, Oh, well, it basically means that he throws the ball through tight windows all the time. Sometimes it works out. Sometimes it doesn't. That's even what I talked about already in this video. And while that's definitely true in an aspect of his game, what where it also comes into play is stuff like this, where, okay, a receiver is open. This isn't a difficult throw to make necessarily, but he doesn't hesitate in these situations. He gets rid of the ball quickly. Watch him push the ball down the field. He gets it there in a hurry, too. I mean, he, he throws a beautiful football. There's no denying that uh, at all. So... That's kind of another thing, and you really have seen him over the years, especially against bad teams beat up on them. If guys are getting open, he will get rid of the ball quickly and be able to kind of really beat up on them and move the ball down the field in a hurry if you're not careful. So you can't be letting guys get too open against Winston. 
One more thing I should bring up with Jameis is something like this, which, uh, by the way, I've been calling him Winston. Uh, it feels like calling him Jameis makes, it, that just seems way better. I'm going to call him Jameis for this last play. Uh, this, and this is the very Jameis play, I think, as well, uh, where linebackers give him trouble. I don't know what it is. I don't know why, but linebackers have always been kind of the main way he will throw interceptions to, it seems like. Just kind of one of those weird things. Uh, it's zone coverage, it's cover three, zone blitz. You see how this route could work, right? It could get into a gap in coverage either before or probably after the linebacker covering the middle of the field. As you see, Jameis is going to take the snap right here. And you see right now, okay, I can see why you want to make this throw. But if you are going to make this throw, you only have to make sure you get it over, right? You want to, like I said, get it past the linebacker. And in fairness, there's pressure, and maybe that's what's causing this. Look, Winston does, you know, the pressure might have caused that to get hit, so maybe that's all that happened here. I can't really tell because it kind of looked like the blunt, the majority of the pressure happened after he threw the football, but I think his, his foot was getting stepped on, uh, if I remember correctly, you know, when that happened. So that's kind of why that happened to some degree. I'm not sure if I can make all the excuses for that, uh, but maybe. However, even if you want to throw this play out and say, yeah, you know, he, he, it was pressure, whatever, I don't care. Uh, you can make that argument if you want to. I would still say uh, he could have, you know, thrown it a little bit further to the left, which is, that doesn't seem like what he was trying to do anyways. And the other thing I would say is that this is still, I mean, I can find other examples of him making this mistake and, and not, you know, doing this play particularly the way you want to. That's, that's something that I've seen on tape plenty of times, even if you want to you, you can always find some little things. So anyways, yeah, uh, that's definitely something you see on tape. Although didn't see it as much when he played for the Saints. Worth mentioning. Uh, grant, granted, hard to see it more than what his last year in Tampa Bay. But still, uh, that's uh, that's something promising is that he's turning the ball over less. You hope that that continues. So yeah, it's pretty interesting. And it's actually more money than I was expecting Winston to get. But I still think it's a pretty decent deal by New Orleans. And I'm, you know, Winston played well in the short time we saw him last year. So you're kind of just banking on, you know, uh, let's hope he, we see more of that and see less of 30 interception Jameis Winston, which, listen, uh, Winston's not a bad quarterback. He's never been a bad quarterback. When Tampa Bay moved on from him, it wasn't even like they hated Winston. It was more so they had a chance to get Tom Brady, so they went with that. So for the New Orleans Saints, like this isn't a horrible move. It does seem like they wanted Deshaun Watson. Watson decided to not go with them. So because of that, since, you know, since that didn't work out, uh, maybe even they were in on the Matt Ryan sweepstakes because this signing happened right after the Matt Ryan sweepstakes, although it was close enough that I would assume that's not what happened. But still, uh, I think this is a, a good move for New Orleans. New Orleans would be in a really rough shape if they didn't re-sign Winston. So keeping him uh, on the roster for multiple years. So uh, you have that chance of if Winston really does go off, you can keep him for another year with a, an affordable contract too, which certainly helps. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I like it. I, I think Winston is, he's a fun quarterback to watch. I'm glad he's going to be a starter next year. I hope he doesn't get hurt again because uh, that sucked last year. Uh, he's fun to watch. And so it'll be interesting to see what they do uh, this following year. But, yeah, that's what I think about this move. What do you guys think? Let me know. What are your thoughts on Winston returning to the New Orleans Saints? Always love hearing from you. And, of course, as always, thanks for watching.